Hi, it's Guy Arnold here from Great Poor and Sales Through Service. Uh, I'm here with Mark Thule, the owner of the Pizza Cafe in Newton Abbott. This is not a paid video. It's uh, just I think he runs such a fantastic business, I wanted to find out a bit more about it. So here we are. So Mark, welcome. Welcome, First question. welcome to Pizza Cafe. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. First question, how did you get into this business? Um, many years ago, um, 16, I took a job in the school holidays as a dishwasher mm -hmm. in our local restaurant. And then after school, I didn't really know what to do, so I sort of fell into catering college yep. um, at, at Talky Tech, did uh, HND and hotel management. And then um, went traveling for about four years mm -hmm. into the Far, far East, got a job in Hong Kong, worked in Guam and Brunei, came back, and the family actually bought the tall ships where I worked as a dishwasher. Right. Uh, so I became chef there, yeah. um, cooking seafood and sort of Southeast Asian um, specialities. That was in Dartmouth. Yeah. But Dartmouth at that time was very seasonal, so we, we shut in the winter and it wasn't ideal. So I started looking around for something different and stumbled across pizza. Mm -hmm. Found this place in Newton Abbott, it's not seasonal. And pizza was ideal because I could um, train people to do it as well. So I wasn't chained behind the stove, you know, morning, yeah. noon and night, and sort of killing myself. And 26 years later, we're still here. So, you know, <laughs> it's been a good be, move. <laughs> <laughs> something must be going right yeah. there. You have yeah. Yeah. I found you through TripAdvisor. You have excellent reviews on TripAdvisor, so that's how I found you. So what, what are the things you like most about the business here and what do you dislike? Um, I think the, the great thing is um, independence and freedom, yeah. working for yourself. Yeah. So you live or die by your own decisions, mm -hmm. um, so you have to be on the ball mm -hmm. and sort of think about things. And it challenges you as a businessman every day. Yeah. So uh, um, this and I'm also passionate about what I do. I love cooking and, you know, I'm not tied behind a desk. That's great. I love it. <laughs> I think your passion comes through in the business. Uh, it really right. does. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So what do you think about the market? How do you think the market is changing in restaurants at the moment? Well, over the years, it's changed quite, quite considerably. Um, nowadays, it's much more um, competitive. Mm -hmm. um, stand, standards, you have to raise the standards now. Um, yeah. Customers are more discerning. So you have to go along with that. Much more competition. Um, the internet has sort of been a game changer yes. in that respect. Um, and it's just, you have to work harder yeah. to, to maintain what you had. Mm -hmm. oh, or smarter as well. Smarter maybe. and harder, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in, just a quick one on that. In what way has the internet changed the game since it was a game changer? Um, well, just TripAdvisor is one example. Yes. Um, you know, you live or die by your reviews, don't you? You can a bad review can knock you down three places or four places yes. on TripAdvisor. Uh, it may not be, you know, correct. Anybody can just put anything up there, really. Mm -hmm. So you, it, it is quite a bit of a lottery. Yes. But you have to be as long as you can get as consistent, um, consistently majority of good reviews. You're yeah. Okay. But there's also other things like social media. Twitter, Facebook, yeah. um, Google, you know, people, yeah. people find you've got to be up there on Google, people yeah. finding you. People set, tend to go to the internet before they go and meet out nowadays. Yes, so and even more so with smartphones and everything. Smartphone, yeah, mobile's changing again, yeah. yeah. Okay, next question. What would you like people to say about your business behind your back? What are the key things? Well, I think um, consistency. A product and consistency of service okay. is the key thing, I think. So people know and trust us. Yes. And we've been here so long that we've got quite a big customer base. Mm -hmm. And it's just a, um, trying to improve the restaurant all the time. Yes. Tweaking and getting better quality ingredients, sourcing better ingredients, you know, making sure everything is exceeds everybody's expectation when they come in. Yeah. That's the key. So consistency first and continual improvement second. Yeah, I think so. And also having so also a whole ro range of things. Great service, uh, uh, value for money, mm -hmm. which is very important nowadays. Yes. Um, and sourcing locally. Yeah. 
just try and, you know. Becoming more and more important, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And I think, and be, being part of the community is is good for us too. You know, we, we support local charities and yeah. try and stand out from the chains, yeah. really. Yeah. Very good point, but stand yeah. out for something. Have yes, you yeah. You've got in any business, really. Yeah, you have to, yeah, you have to exceed, you know, you have to do well at what you do. Do it excellently. And of those things, what do you think are the most important to the customer? Maybe all of them, but the key <laughs> ones. I think um, key one is value for money nowadays, yeah. especially in this, this economic time. Yes. Um, um, consistency and great tasting food, yeah. basically. Okay. Fresh food. Yes. Cooked well. And, and by value, do you mean price? Or no. Uh, what, what do you mean by value? Um, well, I mean, value for money is just maybe paying a little bit more. Mm -hmm. but you know you've got local quality ingredients yes. cooked to a high standard. Okay. And, um, yeah, yeah, that's so people, <laughs> although they're after value, because times are tough and there's lots of competition, yeah. are still prepared to pay more yes, if the product definitely. and the service is yeah. spot on yeah. and consistent. That's correct. Yeah, that's dead. That's that's what it is. Okay. I just didn't want to make people think it was all about all about price. No, 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 no. Okay. So, um, staff, how do you make, how do you motivate and make sure your staff um, keep it all up? I don't know really. I, I think I've been very lucky. I've had amazing staff. Um, mm -hmm. Got six 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 uh, shift managers, and most of them have been with me um, fifteen years plus. Yes. Um, well, that says something in itself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm too soft. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think getting the, getting the quality of staff at the, at the interview. Yes. And well, I tend to give them a trial. Yes. If, they, if they're not going to make, you can t soon tell if they're not yes. going to make it and get get rid of them quickly. Yeah. And um, I think respecting the staff. Mm -hmm. They, if you respect them, they'll respect you back. Yeah. Being fair. And um, we just have a fun here as well. You know, I think that's an important part of it. Absolutely, yeah. you have fun at work. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it's a bit of a drug, isn't The it? people come in every day and do the same thing every day, but every day is different. Right. You know, and, and they enjoy coming to work. Yeah. That's the main thing. So just to um, repeat that, you're, you take a long time to recruit the right people, you give them the trial, but you get rid of them very quickly if it seems quite clear that they're not going to make the Yeah, right. yeah I've learned that over the fair years. for both parties, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, I didn't used to. I used to think, oh, I'll give them another go, another go, and it yeah. just sort of carry, you know, carries on. It's best to just to be sharp. Yeah. Give them a chance. Give them a chance. Uh, if you can see some potential, yeah. Um, nurture that potential. But, yeah. You know, if, if it, you know, some people you just know instantly it's not going to work out. Yeah. So. Okay. Good. Um, a little bit more about social media. So I'm uh -huh. honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> social media and TripAdvisor. Right. How do you deal with that? With TripAdvisor. Well, either or both. Well, I, I, I've got a, quite a big um, Facebook presence. We've got over, uh, about 4,000 followers, okay. people who like us. Yes. Um, and I use that for my marketing as yes. well. Um, we've got um, a Twitter account, which yes. I use day to day, um, talk to the customers, yeah. um, interact with them. Uh, with the Facebook, uh, we link it back to the website and try and capture the information. Yeah. We've got a loyalty scheme going here as well. Mm -hmm. We try and capture their information and give them a five percent discount yes. once they join. We've got about a thousand active um, members of that scheme. Yeah. Um, but also, I'm think I'm looking at Pinterest now. Yes. Because that's more of a uh, like a woman, you know, female thing. Yes. And we um, at lunchtime say we have uh, three quarters of our, our, our trades, you know, women. Yeah. So I'm looking at Pinterest. Um, I think you need to be in Google Plus to get up the rankings on Google. Yes. All sorts of things like that. So there's yeah. lots and lots. Of there's a lot going on out there, yeah. But uh, you do it in quite a structured way, is that right? I try to t um, spend about half an hour a day on marketing and, yeah. and social media right. every day. You know. Good. And then you do you work out what works and do more yes. of it and what yes. doesn't work and yeah. do it. All the time. We'd, I'm uh, trying things out all the time. I'm, yeah. I mean, I've ditched um, newspaper advertising yeah. completely because it's all, it, you know, it doesn't work really. No, no results. It's, no, and it's expensive. Yeah. Um, on the internet, it's free yeah. and it's quite effective, yes. I think. Yeah. Okay, good. A lot of people get confused by that, don't they? It's a bit panic. They think, how am I going to do it? It's sort yeah, of trial and error, really, isn't trial it? Trial and error and just sort of being, I think, being yourself. 
Yeah. Rather than, you know, some people have automated tweets going out, yes. people doing it for them. But I don't think that works. I think you have to do it personally. Yeah. So it's like a conversation in the restaurant. Yeah, just yeah I restaurant. have conversations with my customers. I don't, never met them. Yeah. But, you know, we chat quite a lot. They know who you are, though. <laughs> <laughs> they know who I am. Yeah. Last question for, from, from me. What advice would you give to anyone out there watching this who runs a customer focused business? And let's face it, all businesses are customer focused, whether people think they are or not. Any particular nuggets of advice that you would say, you know, um, if you're running a customer focused business, make sure you always do this? I think a couple of things. I think you've got to be honest to your staff and to your customers. Um, and I think that on, if you're honest, that breeds trust. Mm -hmm. And you need the trust. Yeah. I, need, I mean, I need to trust my staff when I'm not here. And yeah. the customers need to trust me so they can come in without worrying about, am I going to get a bad meal? Yeah. Um, I think a generosity of spirit, maybe, yeah. when it's catering. Um, you've got to give receive I think yes you know we, we give away five percent on our loyalty mm -hmm. we give free pizzas on the on their birthday yeah that's all. and you've got to be generous to staff yeah let them do their own thing if they one of my staff organizes a festival uh, yes this is in his fourth year does it um, while he's still working here yes. which is quite a challenge and yeah go along with them and you know help them with their dreams as well right that's a very nice way of putting it. So make sure that you value people, be yeah. honest, be yourself, be trustworthy, and let people flourish with you as a catalyst. Yeah. Is that about right? I think so. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Come along to the Pizza Cafe in Newton Abbott. It's fantastic and very good coffee too. <laughs>